What's up, Razmanites? Welcome to the Jungle Week 1 of the 2013-2014 NFL season. This week, of course, we opened in Chicago against the Bears. The debut of Mark Tressman, beginning of a new era for them. And unfortunately for Bengals Nation, it is a positive beginning as he becomes one of only four Bear head coaches in history to win his debut and it was a final score of 24 to 21 Bears over the Bengals and I'm not going to sugarcoat this at all the Bengals cost themselves this game AJ Green a phenomenal phenomenal performance eight catches a hundred and I believe it was 35 yards? I'm not entirely sure of the yardage, but he was open all game. Andy Dalton looked crisp. He looked poised. They had big plays on offense from Gresham. Tyler Effort, the number one draft pick of the Bengals this year, first tight end drafted this past offseason, really showed up in the game. So offensively, they were fine. But what happened, the defense goes and just makes mental error after mental error after mental error. And we had to use two out of the three timeouts in the second half for 12 men on the field. Or it may have been all three in the second half for 12 men on the field. But I think it was two in the second half and one in the first half for 12 men on the field and what it did was it changed the complexion of the game when the Bears went ahead after a costly fumble by Mohamed Sanu who up until that point was having a breakout performance and looked very strong but after a costly fumble by Sanu the Bears went ahead on a touchdown pass from Cutler I forget who he threw to to be honest with you but they went ahead and because the Bengals had no timeouts they couldn't stop the clock and then the most boneheaded thing of the entire day veteran linebacker Ray Maluga the same guy that was so dominant at USC has been waiting to be a star at the linebacker position just gets better year after year after year and don't get me wrong he knows he screwed up and he'll be kicking himself all week but he cost us this game because he was getting jawed at on the sidelines and made a late hit and caused enough necessary roughness penalty and basically cost us the ability to take over the football with about a minute and 10 seconds left and yeah that doesn't seem like much but with as hot as Dalton and Green were on the day and the rest of the offense you could basically run a shortened two minute drill and had a rough shot so I'm just really, really disappointed in this loss. There's no two ways about it. Dumb, dumb errors is the reason that the Bengals are 0-1 on the season. We've really got to show up in prime time on Sunday Night Football next week against our rival Steelers. We've got to show up, we've got to dominate, and we've got to win in order for anybody to take it seriously or all that hype HBO choosing us for the hard knock series everything goes out the window if you don't learn from these boneheaded mistakes in week one and have a rivalry game in a national spotlight on Sunday Night Football in week two you can't ask for a better way to rebound but you also don't have a tougher tougher challenge so for this series, I will see you all next Monday morning, as because it's a Sunday night game, I won't be able to get an immediate reaction up due to my physical condition for anyone that's never seen this series before. This is reality according to the Razman, 
and Razmian style. It's not just a catchphrase, but a way of life. Don't forget, Handy Enterprises Inc. Company contact information. Work directly for them. Please help them out, because it helps me out down below in the description box, as well as my full screen referral link. And yes, that usually goes before the sign off, but as per usual with these series, with this series, sorry, because it's a sport series, I go with things unedited so I can't change it for quickness so I will see you all next time